One more short break. When we come back, flying high over Port Hawkesbury with the Hawk. Our cover story is coming up next. Michael McDonald's wardrobe has been provided by Mark's Work Warehouse. Over 350 locations across Canada. Hello, I'm Kevin Henderson, Academic Chair Oceans at the Nova Scotia Community College, and you're watching East Link Magazine. Heard from New Glasgow to Sydney Forks, but they still focus on the quad counties of Inverness, Richmond, Antigonish, and Guysboro. Here's Dale White with the story. That is our finest Antilly. Your girl tonight from 105, the Hawk the Quad County's number one hit music station. I'm Scotty Young. When it comes to broadcast radio, people often take their local radio station for granted. At 101.5, the Hawk in Port Hawkesbury, community comes first. 1410 CIGO uh, launched in October 1975. It was the brainchild of uh, Jerry Doucette. He was a very active member of the community, a former member of the Nova Scotia legislature, a lawyer in town, and he really felt that uh, in his own words there was a void in community radio in this region. And it was his desire to fill that void with a, uh, a very much community-rooted radio station. The East Coast music is pretty near and dear to a lot of people's hearts, especially around Cape Breton and uh, Antigonish areas. We play a lot of local artists. For instance, not even on the East Coast show, but we have a uh, song we're playing right now from a band from Port Hawkesbury, some high school guys, that um, you know they sent us their song and it was great, so we play it. And I think we have that luxury that maybe some other bigger stations don't, that we can pick and choose, and if it's good music, we're gonna play it. I really enjoy the small community atmosphere because, I mean, you go out in the grocery store and someone says, hey, Alex from The Hawk, and I'm like, yeah, Bob from the grocery store. Like you get to know people as well, as opposed to being in a larger community where someone might not recognize you, but you might be wearing um, merchandise from your station and they're like, hey, you work there. You don't really know them. Here you get to know people and I really enjoy that. I think being local is hugely important. Um, from getting out in the community, we try to be at as many events as we possibly can. We have two community cruisers, which um, bigger stations some of them don't even have two community cruisers. We try to get out at as many events as we can. You know, um, people really get to know you and they feel like you're their friend more than just a voice coming out of the radio. The McEacherns purchased the Hawk in 1993. And since then, the station has welcomed new opportunities with the changes in technology. You probably have been one of the first radio stations in Nova Scotia to really embrace what the uh, internet can bring to our broadcast uh, organization. And we started uh, doing live streaming just after we went, uh, flipped over to uh, FM in 2000. And that's been fantastic. Fantastic in the sense that um, it can really, uh, there's no boundaries. You know, we've erased all the boundaries of, of signal challenges, even with FM, to our listeners because they can listen wherever they are. And that's pretty obvious. Even with a global audience, the Hawks' commitment to giving back locally is what makes this privately owned radio station original. We're not a music intensive format because uh, they rely on us for everything from local news to sports to community events to lost and found and all those kinds of things. So I think it's a natural thing to get involved in the community at a level that uh, shows uh, the people who are listening to your radio station and supporting it that uh, it means a lot. To, uh, to give back, and I, you know, it's always a two-way street. Uh, regardless of what I've gotten involved in over the 30 years I've been here, uh, I think I probably have gotten it back tenfold at least. To the residents of the town of Mulgrave, please be advised, Spring Hydrant Flushing... Because you see all the, the love for a, a station that wants to do good for the community, and it gives you good values earlier on in the workplace. Owning a radio station or being a broadcaster gives you a certain level of profile in the community that others may not enjoy. And I think when, when you uh, get to that point, it also provides a level of responsibility. And I think uh, as a broadcaster, I feel, and a, and a business owner, I feel a certain level of responsibility to give back to the community because the community really at the end of the day is what supports your business. And uh, our community has been phenomenal in their support of uh, our operation. In Port Hawkesbury, I'm Dale White for Eastlink Magazine. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. On the next edition of Eastlink Magazine, a story in Oxford Frozen Foods. They're the 2009 recipient of the Corporate Volunteer Award for their efforts within the community. 
As always, here's our contact information. Give us a call at one 354 8439 or email us eastlinkmagazine.eastlink.ca. We really enjoy hearing your comments or your story suggestions. For all of us here at Eastlink Magazine, I'm Michael McDonald. A great big thank you for everyone here in Port Hawkesbury for welcoming us with open arms. Take care.